Hey friends, welcome to Chine Coaching. Rob here, so excited. We've got a video with Aditya, who did his master's in construction management at Arizona State University. So there's gonna be a lot of fun things to learn. Grab some chai and join us. <sighs> friends, thanks so much for tuning in. I love getting to do these interviews with students at different colleges, talking about their different degrees. Uh, we're gonna learn about construction and engineering at Arizona State, one of the largest state schools in America. Aditya, go ahead and introduce yourself, buddy. Oh, definitely. So, names are Titya, called by different names, but the good ones in America, like, you know, people here call me Josh because it's tough for them to pronounce it Titya sometimes. Um, so, did my bachelor's in civil engineering from India, uh, from NASIC, and uh, it was my senior year when I realized, like, I'm inclined towards the management aspect more than the technical aspect of civil engineering. Mm -hmm. That's when I decided I'm trying to pursue uh, the management aspect, and that got me. Uh, working on the construction management degree. I applied to quite a few universities. When I was in India, I was pretty fascinated by the ranking system. And according to the ranks, the best admit I had was Arizona State University. And so I came in. Provided realized ranks is just a paper thing. I mean, all universities here are pretty good with all the infrastructures they've got. But just to give you a little synopsis about the course, uh, the year when I came in was 20. 18 um, August and uh, that was the time when the course at ASU for construction management was a non-STEM meaning it didn't have any science, uh, technology, engineering and math uh, in its coursework but later on realizing the faculty did apply for like you know making wanting to make it STEM designated because we did have a few engineering and tech uh, technology courses and so now it's called construction and engineering technology and technician and it's one of the finest courses that I, I came across. Uh, the best part about ASU, um, and especially with construction management program there is, um, it is diversified. Like, you know, it takes you across all the different disciplines of construction. Like you have a mandatory class to be taken for safety. You've got a mandatory class to be taken, which is software driven, where you learn good softwares like, you know, Bluebeam or Procore. Um, I think they recently introduced the one where like, you know, P6 is kind of a key thing, which is a software that's used commonly for scheduling. Um, so it's it's pretty diversified course and I was really happy to take a couple of classes where one of which was value engineering, where uh, you've got to work in teams and it's a practical assignment. It's pretty pragmatic. It's not like, you know, the textual or, or some classes that just typically happen in a classroom uh, with presentations. Um, the assignments were pretty cool. Like you had to actually imply value engineering on one of the restaurants and just add value to it by following the principles of value engineering. And I think the best um, thing I, uh, I experienced being at Arizona State University um, is it's diversified. Uh, people from all over the globe come in. Um, it's such diverse that like you know it's it's really fun to interact with people from all different cultures and backgrounds and especially studying the same um thing together having different perspectives in different countries you get to know how the industry is doing for me i mean there was a big boon where i got to know how the construction industry is in like countries like lebanon or countries like uh, china um, india of course in america and that's how like you know we got to know what uh, what are we studying? How much of it is going to be like, you know, useful out there in the industry? It sounds like it changed for you, you know, from a non-STEM to a STEM course. So was it more business focused and became more engineering focused or what was that switch like? Uh, well, honestly, there were two courses initially uh, when, by, uh, at the time when I came, one was construction management, which purely mm -hmm. focused on the management aspect. And there was another course, which was called construction engineering, which had management as their key uh, courses. You had a few courses from management and then you had some courses relating to transportation engineering, geotech, um, all the study of so soils and things like that, mm -hmm. um, soil engineering, soil mechanics. And the third one, uh, third aspect of, or the fourth aspect of construction engineering program, I guess was the design, the structural aspect of it. Um, so most of the students um, who were just inclined in studying the management aspect opted for the construction management program. Mm -hmm. But the ones who had inclination towards wanting to study the engineering aspects like design or geotech or transportation for that sake, 
opted for construction engineering but with the new program that they've got in it's a mixture um you've got uh, but still it's majorly focused on the con- management aspect which talks a lot about um things like adding uh, like in you know, a processing the project maintaining the schedule uh be it like you know talking about things like critical paths and managing submit logs and these are like i mean pretty textbook terms for most of the processes that go in the construction industry uh but uh, i think it's uh, pertaining to management pretty much so aditya um you know you applied to several different schools and maybe some other mm-hmm. programs what were some of the other colleges and programs you were considering and what made you choose this program at ASU to go ahead with as i said robert like you know i was pretty um attracted honestly towards the ranking system and i mm-hmm. had different websites i went through to see which university is the top ranked although i didn't know honestly why the ranking mattered much and honestly after coming here i realized i i felt a few other universities i had the admit from was texas or linkedin um i got rejected from clemson um i think i i had applied to north carolina state university too um and uh, i think i felt as was the best admit i had but later on the reason i was slightly more inclined towards uh, this university was i read somewhere that this university has a very strong alumni network mm-hmm. and honestly rob i didn't know what alumni network mean or like you know what's okay. the it's having that um but i realized what that basically meant was um any majors that you study in this university of course eventually you want to have some practice and working on like you know good jobs in big company mm-hmm. and you see a lot of alumni from ASU being on the top positions of this companies yeah and that necessarily doesn't give you the ticket to be uh getting a job in those companies but that definitely has a soft corner where like you know the students the the, the CEOs or like you know the project managers or area managers in this big companies have had the same coursework or like have attended the same or maybe you might have mutual professor that might just like you know help your chances getting better to uh, connect with all the all the all the key people in this big companies and i think that is something that's really strong about this university yeah um, but, uh, both my parents actually studied at Arizona State University so they're alumni and my grandfather was a professor there so Uh yeah they're definitely big ASU fans. Uh they still go to the football and basketball games and um they're very proud Sun Devils. <laughs> oh yeah, there you go. Sun Devils. Yeah. Oh yeah. Say hello to your parents and then I mean yeah, it's it's the Sun Devil thing. I mean, it's pretty um um uh, I don't know, it's it's fascinating like because recently there was a game, there's a football game in Utah where mm-hmm. I just moved to Utah for my job and it was uh, the ASU versus uh, the University of Utah and I mm-hmm. when I could see some Su- Sun Devil um, fans out there it was it was crazy like and I just to connect and share those um good good happy times despite uh, ASU lost that's something we don't want to cover in this video <laughs> so but yeah so Aditya is now working in Utah um we're going to make a couple other videos talking about his jobs his job search so he's going to be sure to check those out but to wrap up this video about uh, ASU and construction management mm-hmm. some people are considering ASU or considering this program you know construction management masters what are some different pros and cons that you would want to give just to kind of advise people if, if they're considering if this is a good fit for them or not right well um in my perspective I mean my my opinion I might be wrong but uh the key things that i looked for when i went to an university was the first thing i was always worried about was job which i realized should not be the first thing it should be the second thing but the first thing that i actually came across this university which i feel the biggest pro is this university especially for the construction program have a lot of active clubs on it and these clubs are all uh affiliated to big organizations in America like one of which is CMAA Construction Management Association of America the second one is TBIA Design Build Institute of America Sigma Lambda Chi and these clubs have a student chapter which kind of helps the students to getting introduced to all the key and experienced people out there in the construction industry these clubs have been helping students to reach out to more companies and learn get mentorships and that's something that I uh, primarily want to focus at is having a mentor um in your professional life um and that's one good thing that I mean this university gave to me uh, the concept of mentoring I didn't know there existed something like that the last time I knew I heard about mentoring was uh, when I was um, seeing Star Wars 
but i didn't know that existed in real life and i think you have people with diversified experience knowledge skills that you have an easy access to through this clubs that makes you more professionally sound and then job is not an issue at all once when you are professionally sound enough to like you know socially interact gain, gain the, all the essential knowledge and stay up to date with the construction industry but the other thing um, robert about this university that was so appealing to me was in the career fairs we have oh, those were like you know i mean those were exhausting with in regards to the companies that came we had around we usually had 3 days of construction career fair just for the construction students wow. which is a big deal where people from i think we had about more than 40 or 50 construction companies coming out there to hire and it it was not just pertaining to arizona companies from utah colorado california texas mm-hmm. um came in to hire students from asu and one of the good words uh, i've been hearing about like most of the um uh, stu- from from the students is these companies um um kind of most of the students actually find um their company to work with from this career fair mm. and i think these two things are really really something that mattered to me more after coming here and realizing that rank is something that's just on the paper you got to look at a few things which are more than just looking at the rank and the key factors i feel are the scope of uh, opportunities your major have in those states like i mean in arizona utah colorado um california these are the states texas are the states where construction is pretty good uh, and especially the construction industry i come from is relating to heavy civil construction industry where we construct roads um dams and water water drainage structures and things like that this uh states have a lot of scope for that and then secondly of course you want to look at the companies um pertaining to your majors um so that's i think um pretty much a synopsis of ASU and what it means to me editia thanks so much i love that you reached out and want to give back and help other students uh through mm-hmm. shine coaching i love uh i've loved hearing your story and that we're going to cover some other aspects in some other videos as well uh mm-hmm. we're going to put your linkedin in the description that way if anyone has more questions for you feel free to connect with editia uh you know he definitely wants to give back uh he was definitely helping his journey and i love that other students want to help each other to be successful here in america and that's what chine coaching is all about so with that being said robert like you know i just want to put out a word out there that like you know, i'm no professional or like you know, i'm not like an expert rather than pardon my word for being uh, uh saying professional but mm-hmm. not an expert but yes the thing that happened to me after coming to america was i was fortunate enough to be getting all the things i i felt i was blessed with getting mentors and things happened to me um luckily like you know without wanting to spend any money for it and like you know was all these things were pretty important for me to grow in my career and and that's the thing i just want to reach out and try helping as many students as possible i've been trying to do that uh, it's kind of difficult uh, with the working life to connect one on one but again through you rob through chai and coaching the thing that you're doing with um this initiative i think it's it's a very good opportunity trying to expand and reach out to more students with whatever they need at least i mean i'll try helping even if i don't know something about it i'll try connecting students to different people who are kind of an expert in that so thank you rob awesome well yeah if you guys are interested in the construction industry or studying construction management let us know in the comments or if you guys have any other questions like that and thanks for joining us uh, don't forget to subscribe and connect with us online we want to continue guys to help you in your cross cultural journeys here in america and be sure to let aditya know uh, tell him thanks in the comments and give a big like and thumbs up for this great information i learned a ton and we'll see you guys next time at chine coaching cheers cheers